Hey guys, Mr. Hino here with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I had somebody say one time, Mr. Hino, you always got bad news when you, you start your video off in the car. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. Okay, so today's video, not bad news. I'm just going to be taking you on a little journey from our first Lego League team, the Robotic Ponies, from their qualifying event to tomorrow's um, regional championship in Poway, California. So I'm just gonna take you along for a ride, just some highlights, and see how things go, okay? He now Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hina with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Uh, it's early in the morning here. We're at our qualifying tournament in Riverside at the Bournes Family Innovation Center. So we're gonna get ready to go inside pretty soon. It's just uh, really cold. It always seems like it's really cold when I go to qualifying events, and I dress like it's summer. But anyway, I will hopefully get you guys some video and pictures of our qualifying event today, so hopefully you'll stay with me. It's just weird to think that it's 7.45 right now, and our judging and our robot game will be over by 9.30. So it just it feels weird to feel like I'm, we're going to be high and goodbye um, when we're usually just, you know, we're usually here all day. So it's just going to be weird to, and, and especially not to see all the other teams. I think there's about 15 teams and we're only going to see two because there's only three teams per cycle. So it just feels really weird. And it's just one of those once in a lifetime things, I hope. So, uh, here we go. Hey guys, it's the first time that I'm not going to a championship in the dark. Um, our session doesn't start till 1240, so it's bright outside and I got everything packed up, ready to go. So uh, yeah, come along with me. So instead of Legoland this year, it's gonna be Poway High School. So we're off and running.
Okay, guys, so that was our journey from the qualifying tournament to the championships. And no, we didn't walk away with any awards in the championships, and that's okay. For those of you that went to the championships and nothing, it's it's a tough thing. You know, obviously, when you guys go from your qualifying to the championships, the competition is going to get tougher, and it's just that much harder to win. And so you just let that feeling you know, carry you into your next year. You know, you, you learn, you look at your rubrics, you figure out, okay, what do we got to do to become better the next year? And so I never take it as something negative. In fact, it makes the times that we did win things at the championship and makes it that much sweeter to know this is not that easy. And you know, the competition gets better and you got to step up your game from one year to the next. So it's all good, it's all fun, it's all competitive, and that's what I love about First Lego League. So I would just encourage those of you that didn't even make it to the championships, continue to, to learn, continue to get better, continue to just strive. That reminds me of a story that I had three um, students that one year they got, they did so well and they, they got so close and they didn't win any award. And they, they, they thought, you know what? We, we got so close. And they just dedicated themselves to come back next year. And that was their goal to just improve and hopefully win an award. And so they moved on to the high school. I believe it was their last year of eligibility. They dedicated themselves to go to the high school and come back after school and work hours and hours that next year and I was so impressed with their dedication and their heart they had just made it a pact to say hey we're gonna go back to the championships the next year and try to win everything and they came away with um, they came away with a core values uh, award I believe or project so it was just neat to see that that's what first Lego League should do it should just drive the students to come back and be better than the you know the year before so I would encourage all of you guys to not hang your heads that you should just take your experience and just count it as that was so cool you know I got a chance to compete and then next year you'll just be that much wiser for it you'll know what to do what not to do and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a cool ride I guarantee you where you can have friendships, meet other students that share the same passions with robotics. So embrace the feeling of competing and not, you know, succeeding because that should carry you into the next season. Like, ah, okay, we, we got this. We know what to do, what not to do. This is what we did that we could improve on. And that's just the whole part of it. You know, it's just amazing. So hopefully yeah, you had some fun taking this journey with me. Um, I would encourage you guys to just keep striving and keep looking forward to the next competition or the next year. Okay, guys? I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.